Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and we are going to continue our drop swing series with the mace. We are going to take this movement, the drop swing, from standing position and put it into our warrior position. The warrior position drop swing is directly what is taught at Flo Shala under the tutelage of Summer Huntington. We are going to take and get into our warrior stance. We are going to point this front foot straight ahead. Certain types of martial arts would turn that foot in and close this distance to create a stronger base of support. We can do it that way, but right now we're gonna do it as Summer teaches it in the yoga way. Lead foot pointed straight ahead, rear foot straight leg driving into the ground. Put that rear heel on the ground, that rear foot is gonna move one direction or the other. It could be straighter ahead, it could be further turned out, depending on your level of mobility. We're trying to get this lead knee directly over that ankle. If you wanna make this movement harder, move your lead foot further out and sink further down into the stance. We're gonna demonstrate it fairly shallow today, just for good technique purposes. Let's go ahead and start with the mace in our lead leg, lead hand, as if we were prepping to do our single arm 360 in this position. We are gonna take our hand, palm faces away, thumb points down, rotate it to the center. We are not gonna be facing straight ahead warrior one. We're gonna be facing to the side, which I'm pretty sure is warrior two, if I remember correctly. From here, press all the way up, drop swing, bring it to center, find that balance point. Palm faces away, thumb points down, rotate, drive up, drop swing, catch. Palm faces away, thumb points down, prep, drive up, and do that swing. And of course, we could also do it with our rear hand, lead leg, rear hand, get that starting position, press all the way up, press, 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 and of course there are four versions. You have left leg lead, left, 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 right, and you can change it to the other side. You should do both legs equally. The easier one for me is lead leg, lead hand, because it requires the least amount of weird stuff to happen somewhere in your core. One of the interesting things about this movement is when you get to this position here, the closer your hands are, the more core contraction you're gonna to have to counteract that weight hanging out on the end of that lever. Plug it in, time under tension. Think about it though, you have at least four minutes of time under tension for this one movement. 